What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Whew. I am tired. I just got done working. But as promised, we got some more unboxing to do. Some unfinished business. My buddy Rich, aka Hellabass, sent me a package. Great guy. Moderator of the chat and the live streams on Friday and Saturday night. And if you haven't tuned in, you need to do that. Sometimes we have some awesome guests and we talk baits uh, with Epic Eric. Sometimes I'm by myself too. Um, but anyway, the reason you're here is not to listen to me talk about nothing. The reason is you want to talk about baits. And let's unbox some stuff. Huh. That was odd. It's like someone just threw it at me. All right, here it is. This is from Ledge Hog Lures, little care package. They sent me. I appreciate it. I want to show you guys these really awesome baits. Trusty scissors. I really don't recommend you use scissors to unbox your stuff. Use a box cutter. I'm just lazy. And I've got a ton of box cutters from work. This is the hardest part of unboxing, is just getting the boxes open. All right, let's see what we got from Ledge Hog Blurs. Ooh, first thing. A big, giant spinnerbait. And that is a giant spinnerbait let's let's cut this guy open here let's see see exactly how big this guy is it's pretty cool packaging just makes it hard on the unbox guys to get open God, this thing is holy smokes now that is a big spinnerbait looks some very nice polished blades on here cool thing is i don't have to like zoom it way in which I can. I mean, you can see that compared to my hand, how big that is. Uh, this is for you guys that like to slow roll big blades down deep. It's got a big hook. You can put a big trailer. Uh, one cool thing is, if you see this, that little copper wire, the skirt is hand tied. It's a really nice material. It's gonna, it's gonna pulse really well. well let's compare it to, say, you know, this is a half ounce war eagle how big that spinnerbait really is i mean it's huge yeah if i'm hunting bigs on the tennessee river deep in texas mexico i would like to take this guy right here and you see it's got the uh round twist um old school uh tie um some guys call it a loop which it basically is spinnerbaits now they have more of an r bend to them there's some benefits uh, to the twist. Uh, supposedly, they make the spinnerbait run a whole lot straighter. I'm more of an R-band fan, but I know guys that swear by these. And I'll definitely throw this. But, man, that sucker right there, that's just that would just be a giant gizzard slow road on the bottom. So, that's the first thing they sent me. Huh. The next thing, another giant spinnerbait. This is 1.5 ounce. That's a big, big Colorado uh, spinnerbait right there. Let's open this one up too. This is kind of getting into the musky category for me. I, there's no doubt bass will eat these things. Oh my gosh. This is just gigantor. Wow. And I do like big baits. There's going to be a time and place for this, but think of the vibration you're going to get with this arm and this big giant. It has a huge Colorado blade. Night fishing in the stumps, Lake Fork, Toledo Bend. Woo! I think Chickamauga Lake at night. Man, put you a big old like 5'8 Kai Tech on the back. Do some work. Again, it's got the twisted loop. Uh, that's where you tie. Got a big old hook in this thing. Man, I wonder when this falls if you get that helicopter in action uh, of the blade right there. That's crazy. I, I like it though. Crazy, but I like it. Obviously, with a company named Ledge Hog, we're not going to get a lot of finesse baits. And that's okay. I'll do my best to put it back in the package. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, the next thing here, 
This is called a scissor jig. So this is unique. But let's take this scissor jig out here. So football style head on here. Recessed line tie. I like that. That's kind of the way I like to roll. It's flat down here. But let's look at this hook combination. This is kind of weird here. You've got two hooks that open up. This is unique because look at the hook system. It's got one hook here, one hook here, and they're super sharp. And you see it's got a centering pin here. See if the camera will focus on that centering pin. It may not. It probably won't because, you know, I'm trying to get something done. So you would put your trailer here, and then you would softly bury uh, the hook points into your trailer. And so the theory is when you get bit on this jig, it collapses these two hooks, makes a scissoring action, and you should be able to hook them in the top or the bottom. Very interesting. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like that. Uh, if you have ever used this, please let me know in the comment section below. I like the theory and the idea behind that. Now, as you can see, if it's sitting on the bottom, you know your trailer should be up here. These are going to be buried in your plastic and when he bites. Pretty cool idea. But it's definitely unique, definitely different. I've never seen that before. So, shout out to um, Ledge Hog for the scissor jig. You know, we'll be scissoring all the time. They also have a a swim jig that uh, I guess it fell out of the package or whatnot. No biggie. That looks really good. You can put your swim bait back there, make it wheelless. You'd have the scissoring action. Scissor me timbers. I like. I do like the swim jig. The idea with the swim jig would work really, really well. Put whatever you want back there. So, let's see what else we got in here. A buzz bait, nothing crazy, big profile, hand tied skirt, I can tell you that. Yeah, and then another thinner bait. Let's look at this guy. Now, this one for me is more practical. Uh, this is probably about a one ounce shorter arm, short arm, spinner baits, more vibration. Uh, one thing I'll say, there's a lot of cup. I don't know if you can see it. On the video there's a lot of cup in this colorado blade so it's going to get a lot of vibration uh, again hand tied skirt on this thing you see the copper wire i like how flimsy it is it's nice and soft skirt um it should pulse good in the water of course i'm gonna throw this at night so i don't really think it matters um the pulse action on the skirt at night it's just me got a good hook definitely would put that in a rotation now let's talk about what makes ledge hog famous i know a little bit about these baits because it's kind of been uh a little bit of a secret here on kentucky lake tennessee river uh the last couple of years it's gotten tough those bass don't seem to bite those big flutter spoons the magnum spoons like they used to guys have started throwing these guys right here this is the three three inch ledge hog and they make three sizes they make a three inch a four inch and a, and a five inch they got good packaging too, which always makes it fun for me to get out and show you guys. So there's a three inch. That's just a regular silver style. It's a blade bait. It's an oversized blade bait. You know, you're used to seeing the guys up north throw the, the half ounce and the, the three eighth ounce traditional blade baits. These are going to be a little bit bigger. They're going to have a little bit taller back and they're weighted right here on the head up front. So supposedly when it hits the bottom it's going to fall nose first so that's just your traditional silver nickel style three inch and then we got a four inch version now this one's cool this one's all painted up the four inch weighs one and three quarter ounce so you're going to have to have a little bit stiffer rod and reel uh, probably something you throw a swim bait on that's a really good looking bait. And you see there's one, two, three, four, five different slots to put your snap. Each give this different running action. Now, I would fish this thing, yo-yo it up and down off the bottom with some hard snaps. You can even throw it down there and slow roll it. 
It's got some super sharp uh, sh triple grip hooks on here. Good premium components. So that's the four inch. And we'll compare it to the three inch. You can see it's like double the size. Pretty crazy. And I got one more size here. This is the big daddy, the Mac Daddy Ledge Hog. This is five inch of pain. Look at this guy. Now that is a freaking giant blade bait. That guy right there, summertime when they those big gizzards and bluegill really get out there, and it, this this would catch. Uh, now this guy. You're gonna to have to have a nice rod and reel. It uh, it's five inches and weighs three and three quarter ounces, almost a four ounce bait. Uh, get your swim bait setups out for this thing right here. But you gotta remember, it does have treble hooks. Could be easy to throw, but the guys I know that I've had really good luck on the the lead chogs, they're throwing the four inch or the five inch version because we're out here, we're chasing meat out in the summertime. But dude, check out the five inch compared to the four. Again, it's like double the size. I like it. I like it. And uh, there's just uh, sent me a couple more uh, traditional chrome four inch and another painted up uh, three inch ledge hog in there. So I uh, want to give a shout out to Ledge Hog Lures for sending me that package. And if you think I should do a giveaway, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment, do a giveaway, and uh, I'll do a little giveaway on Instagram uh, for the Ledge Hog Lures. It's time to unbox Rich's package he sent me. It didn't fly at me. I'm kind of disappointed. Let's see what we got here. Uh-oh. This is OG. Some of you guys might recognize that packaging there. Yes, it's California Swim Babes. Oh man, this one's in good shape. So this is one of the OG uh, line through swim baits that was ever put out. Um, you've heard Byron Velvet talk about them. Look at that big fat bat back right there. I like some fat back. And you've almost got these fins slash wings that kind of keep this thing really straight. But this bait has a really good tail action in the water. And just sits there and shimmies back and forth. Uh, this company no longer makes baits. They're really, really hard to find, but they were super, super popular. This is just a traditional shad color. That's right. Rich sent me some with some purple on it. But it's, uh, you know, black back, nothing fancy. But, man, these things swam so good. And this is the, the re regular swim babe size. They made uh, a small one and a mid-size. I think they even made it a large one. This is the baby E. Uh, actually, it's called Purple Haze. So I misspoke. This is the baby E. Uh, I have some tiny E's as well. Let's see what else we got. We got another one. Now, one thing they did do that makes it hard for unboxings is uh, when they made their swim baits, they actually have a little clip here on the outside of the package to keep your tail from getting smashed and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, Rich may have even done that. I don't know, but... See where they were hanging, and obviously it broke off. These are old, old packages, so that's really cool. Now let's see what else Rich sent me. We'll just dump it all out here. Actually, the package is broken shipping. That is it. Double checking. I was looking for a hundred dollar bill or something, you know. All right, my favorite swim bait of all time. Bass tricks. And that's one of my favorite colors right there. That's hitch number one. So if you guys don't know, these guys right here, the six inch Bastrix is OG. And that's my favorite color. That's hitch number one. Uh, it's kind of a, a very shady color, but it's got a little faint blue in there and gold. Man, these are old ones too. I can tell the way these are poured. That right there is the swim bait that really got me hooked on fishing swim baits, especially out deep. A guy by the name of Bruce Porter, he started Bass Tricks. He recently sold the company. They are coming back. 
Now, sometimes you'll get a tail that's a little crooked or whatnot like that right there. All you have to do is dip it in some boiling water, straighten it right up. But So i got a pack of Hitch Number 1. That's my favorite color. This is a really good one, too. This is Chartreuse and Blue. Great, great color right here. I've always done really well on these when uh, it's a little bit overcast or the water's not like perfect visibility. Still clear, but maybe it's got a little color. I do really good in that. And up shallow around the brim, that chartreuse and blue. Put it on a beast hook. Oh man, I love, I love bass tricks. Uh, I'm glad they're going to be coming back out. Hopefully they run the same as the old ones. They did have one run that was kind of, kind of rough and Bruce tried to fix it. Um, and then the last pack here from Rich, Tennessee Shad. That's just your traditional uh, shad color. This is one of the most popular color bass tricks ever made was the Tennessee Shad. You can see it's got a silver back, a little bit of purple. This one, we're going to have to boil the tail on this guy. He's a little crooked, a little crooked. It ain't no problem. Um, you know, one thing about these, the, they're greasy. I don't know if you guys can see my hands, but they got like grease on them. It has something to do uh, with the, the texture and the plastic and the paint. It's not going to ruin the bait. It's not going the fish aren't worried about it. Literally, after you make two casts, that comes off. Man, the greasiest unboxing ever. But I appreciate you, Rich, my moderator, uh, for sending me that stuff. Now we have done two videos, two days, two unboxings. And before I even started this video, another box hit my house. So. I'm going to get some more content up for you guys. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I'm loving it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I smash the like button for me. Again, I drop merch. That's one of the best ways to support the channel. Let me know, what was your favorite bait from the Ledge Hog unboxing in there, if you made it this far? If you didn't have a favorite bait, that's okay too. Let me know. We'll throw a giveaway together. Baitman is out.